Hi guys, having a bit of a coffee break. We're working pretty hard in the shop, but I had a piece that we finished up and we wanted to show it to you guys. Talk a little bit about it because it's one of our favorite types of pieces. Um, it's the kind of thing that we like to do a lot of if we have the time, which we haven't had much of lately. Uh, but it is a piece that is uh, turned out real nice. Uh, we're gonna have it uh, available out at the Renaissance Fair this weekend and it's a messer, uh, which is one of our favorite types of swords. Uh, love practicing with them, training with messers. It's one of my favorite styles of uh, medieval combat. And uh, this piece turned out pretty nice. So let me take a sip of coffee and I'll show it to you. So it's uh, based on a piece out of Tallhofer you can see that it's a big knife, i.e. what a messer is. Uh, it's the German word for knife, and we see it in this period of time often being referred to as the longest messer or the gross messer. Uh, this would date about 1459 or so, I think the date is on Tallhoffer's uh, manuscript for this piece. And you can see it's got just an elegant look to it, long, sharp point on it, not uh, back edged. It's designed to handle much like any kind of single handed sword, but is particularly good with a real click, quick action. Um, the tip is quite thin as most of these style of swords would be. And so it allows for a real quick rotation through in depth in a sense, when you go to the back edge type of cuts and actions it moves very quickly in the hand. Uh, this piece here has a couple features. It's got a fuller running down the blade. Uh, like I pointed out, it's got the drawn out sharp point, not a clip point that you sometimes see in the manuals. Uh, even Tallhofer shows a couple different varieties, but this particular piece is definitely the straight back, right to a point, uh, very acute. It's got the nagel, which comes out about two and three quarter inches or so and has the slab grip uh, where you have the scales on the side of the tang. So the tang is the full function of this particular shape. And then the plates for the pommel area and the grip area are applied to that uh, here using two brass tubes and then rivets on the back piece here. Uh, you can see the handle is offset to the back edge. Sometimes you will see the handles centered in the guard for messers. Uh, that is not consistent across uh, the whole Middle Ages. You see both uh, done, and in particular, this one in Tallhofer is offset to that back edge. Um, gives it a little bit of a savory kind of action, I guess. Um, it's got a stout little guard, probably five and just under six inches uh, wide, that is uh, coming down into a little kind of lozenge or diamond shape uh, from the big square of the centerpiece. Uh, the detail on the nagel and the pommel kind of mirror each other a little bit. And this is just done as I forged out the nagel. It kind of started to take that shape, so I just followed that uh, action to it. Uh, kind of like, in a sense, sculpting. If you remove everything that isn't what it's supposed to be, then you have a sculpture. So it turned out really nice. It's very sharp. It will uh, slice quite a bit. Uh, of everything, including my fingers as we were sharpening it. Uh, overall length is about 33 and three quarters of an inch. Uh, it's about 27 and an eighth in the blade length, I think. Uh, grips about four inches, you know, comes through a little bit on the backside, but you want that. You, you can use that as a sweep kind of in certain actions uh, when using it. And the weight is running right about 2.8 pounds, just under 1300 grams. So it's a, it's a beefy little piece. It's got some real heft to it. You could really use it for cutting uh, and you know interactions with other weapons quite effectively because of the way it would push through certain actions with that amount of mass. But it is very much um, you know balanced back towards the guard here. So it's pretty quick in the hand. The tip moves very quickly. You can turn it very fast. Uh, it also helps that when you have that kind of hexagon shaped guard, the placement of the thumb, you can really get those kind of turns of the wrist very quickly into the weapon. So 
If it's uh, your kind of thing, we love them. This is a very nice little custom messer we did. I'll put some pictures up on the blog post of some other pieces we've done uh, of different types of messers, but it is a piece that, uh, or a style of sword that we really love making, and I hope you uh, like them too. Have a great day.